Yeah. Okay, guys, well, here we are. We're about, uh, what, an hour or so from auction. Mm -hmm. It's been an uh, exciting three or four weeks. How are you feeling? A little bit nervous. Yeah, I think But that's... Um, I think we're well prepared, so looking forward to the next hour okay. and then to it being over. Well, look, what we want to discuss here, we want to uh, use this video to give people a bit of an idea on the five major things that we believe sellers need to focus on um, throughout the campaign of, of, I suppose, doing the job right. And we think you've covered a lot of those points really well. So we want to use you as a bit of a case study, if that's okay. So it is important in selling a property that as agents we have ability to be able to come and go from that property, be able to run what, multiple buyer showings there in during the week, uh, over the weekends, some of those times can be a little bit inconvenient, say uh, after hours. So how's that been from your end working in with us during that? I think it's been, it's, it's been pretty straightforward. One of the nice things is we've had enough notice on when the showings were going to be. And that's meant that we, and also you consulted with us about our diaries to make sure we could fit that in. So it was good. In that respect, we were able to make, make time because we've always wanted to be able to get the place organised beforehand. Uh, so it hasn't been any more inconvenient than it had to be. You do have to put yourself out there and it is important that you make yourself available. Right. And that's exactly it. It's really about um, ensuring we're available for when buyers want to view the property yes. as hmm. opposed to specifically working in with the exact times yes. that suit. Presentation of a property I think is hugely important from both engagement with buyers from when they, they see it marketed and promoted and they see it online and also from when they actually come to the property and see the efforts you've gone to to have it looking great. Yeah, I think, I think one of the things we thought we were good at at the outset was walking around the house and looking at it like, like a buyer might. And taking notes, taking notes as, right. a, as a buyer and looking around this home and thinking what needs to be done and, um, and then following that list and doing it early enough that you don't feel under pressure and rushed. As agents, we're really proud to be on this property, to be associated with a home where you've obviously taken such a lot of care and attention to detail. We were trying to make sure as best we could that there wasn't any negatives for a buyer to hang on, hang their hat on. There's no point in going to all the effort to have it look great if people aren't walking through the front door. So from our side of things, that's ensuring that we make sure the home's exposed to the widest group of of potential buyers mm. and so from your side of things you know that meant we in, invested um, you know in, in perhaps Canberra Times advertising, Canberra Weekly advertising for the property. We shot a video mm. with industry media yeah. on this which was really well received. video was excellent I've got to say. It was yes. great. And, the, yeah. and the feedback we got from people that we know who went and looked at it they were really impressed with the video. Okay. It made yeah, a, was a whole another very important dimension to what was on the website. Well the house is a huge investment. That That's so um, I would think that you would do your very, very best to um, optimise the market by getting it out into as many places as you can. For me, that was important. The other, other thing we inco incorporated as part of the marketing, which was the, the brochure. We utilised the eight-page mm, mm, brochure, obviously mm. having a, a fantastic home. We didn't want to minimise, you know, or, or leave anything out, you know, the features and facts. So in some agencies are using a two-page or a four-page brochure, and we didn't feel that was enough. We are, we are happy with that final product that, that we created. It was like a, well, yeah, a book, I, more of a booklet. As yeah, it was. Brochure. Look, and we think we've got a pretty special property. I mean, I suppose yes. every seller does. But I think objectively this is probably a reasonably special property mm -hmm. and, and I think the, the brochure did that justice. I think yeah. so, yes. Um, we chose an auction campaign uh, this way around. Um, how did you feel about the auction campaign? What were your thoughts on your choices of method for sale? I don't think there was another choice, I not for this property. So. No, no, that's what we talked about before um, we saw you. Okay. So we, we realised that yeah, this property was a, a unique property and there wasn't any other way we thought that we could get them. There's no direct comparables to work with, so this is it. really hard for us to tell the market what they should pay. It's about having the conversation, then us asking the question. I love and, that. That's and, what an auction um, is, asking yeah. a question of what people will pay for your home. Mm -hmm. um, and then if we agree to that, a deal is put together. Mm -hmm. From our side though, it's not about putting a sold sticker up today at all costs. It's about reaching an expectation that you have. And if those buyers are able to do that today, fabulous under auction terms, but it is okay to pass the property in and work with people post-auction. I think it's important to feel comfortable with that. It's not about a clearance rate today, it's about getting the best result for you. Yeah, now we understand that. I mean, yeah. obviously today will be good. Yes. But of course. <laughs> 
and it's our primary focus because with buyers engaged here at the property in a competitive environment, we're probably bringing them to the highest emotional state for this property. In terms of selecting our team to look after you, what did you look for? Why, why us would be the question. At a personal level, we were aware of the, the, the amount of work you guys do, not just with the sellers. And I think what people don't recognise is that for a successful sale, it's the amount of work and communication that an, that an agent does with potential buyers yes, that makes important. all the difference. And one of the things that's really struck us, um, and I've been involved as a buyer of real estate for years, as you're well aware, um, but one of the things that's really struck us is the amount of follow-up um, and, and time and relationship that you build with potential buyers to make them feel comfortable to be part of the transaction and to extract a better understanding of them to be able to negotiate better for both parties. I think that's absolutely key and I've not seen that in, no. any, other, in any other agents, no, I really I haven't. haven't. A lot of it's about the buyers sometimes. It's got to be. You know, different settlement time frames or different deposit options, especially coming up to the end of the year, Christmas and New Year's and, and we've uh, had a number of conversations with some buyers about getting finances ready or mm. having to recommend them to a, a different broker mm. or whatever it might be so we can uh, help help that particular buyer along the way. No, so look, all in all, I mean, well, it's a nerve-wracking exercise. It's hard work too, if you're going to do it well. Um, and I think from our side, we've tried to do it well. Yeah, um, Because we know what's we at like stake. We do, we, we like to think we did. Um, I, would gen I would actually just put forward that you absolutely have. Done a and great job. to be honest, you're the types of people we want to work with. Agents want to work with sellers that want to have the house looking great, that have the pride and attention to detail that you've had. It makes our job that bit easier. And I feel like we've been a, a team during this. Yeah, we feel the same. So us, us doing everything. We're about to find out how good a team. That's right. <laughs> we'll find out in about 20 minutes or so. Yes. So yes. Oh. we'll wrap it up here. I really appreciate your comments. Uh, you need to go and have a walk to clean your hair to take Thanks. Jenny for a walk. Yeah. And um, we'll, see you, uh, we'll see you during the auction. Come and grab your instructions and see how we go. All right. Okay, thanks. Luck. Fingers crossed. Yes. <laughs>